Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about how to use Gunbot on a Raspberry Pi. A lot of you guys have been interested on how I'm running it on Raspberry Pi. Uh, so hopefully this video will pretty much clear up everything and hopefully you guys will, you know, be able to run on a Raspberry Pi. Now some of the reasons that I run it on Raspberry Pi is because, you know, it's a lot cheaper than a VPS. A VPS can cost anywhere from like 6 to $10 a month. And you know, Raspberry Pi is only 30 or $40. So you know, pretty much after three months, you are, you've already paid more than the cost of just buying a Raspberry Pi. So you know, you might as well buy one, have you know, a cool piece of technology that you can use for whatever you want, uh, but also use for GunBot uh, if that's what you wanna do. So anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, so first off, what you guys are gonna need to do is you guys are gonna be going to need to go on the GunBot GitHub and uh, download the regular version of GunBot. So uh, for this example, I'm gonna be using GunBot version 5.0.4, uh, uh, although I do know that version 4 also worked for this, and you know some of the older versions like version 3. So anyways, uh, once you have it downloaded, you're gonna get uh, all of these files. Now there are a few files that you can ignore, ignore right? You can ignore gunthia.exe, uh, gunthia.linux, uh, and the Gunthi Mac OS, right? Those are for uh, all the other versions of GunBot. Um, so the two most important things in this folder, right, is obviously the Tulind. Uh, this is like, you know, all the, all the things that helps run, GunBot run, and the uh, config and Gunthi-arm, because Gunthi-arm is the actual program, all right? So anyways, you can go ahead and open up your config.js. Uh, I have mine right here. Uh, so pretty much this is you know where you put all your settings. Uh, I made a video on version five settings. So uh, anyways, you can just take a quick look at what I was running uh, recently. Some of the pairs, uh, and you know it's just completely normal, right? This is your config file. Uh, you can change any of the settings you want in here. Uh, I was running uh, BB step gain. Uh, this was uh, earlier because I've been testing out something else which I've been running on my personal PC and not on Raspberry Pi. Um, so these are some older settings, but you know, you still just get to look at it. So anyways, that's the uh, config file. Next, the most important part is uh, getting it running, all right? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to the uh, console. So it's just that program right there. And then what you're gonna wanna type in is uh, CD space, and uh, copy the folder location of uh, GunBot. So let's go ahead and get that. You can just click, you can right click on the folder and then click copy paths. So CD, I'm just uh, pasting it in. And then you hit enter. So now that you're in the folder, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to give uh, Gunthi-arm all the permissions in order to run on your Raspberry Pi. So what you're going to want to type is you're going to want to type chmod plus x and then gunthi dash arm, right? Because the uh, gunthi dash arm is the version that runs on the Raspberry Pi. All right, so once you have uh, that typed in, you can go ahead and hit enter. Uh, it's not going to say anything. Uh, if it doesn't say anything, that means you did it correctly. Uh, and finally, the last thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do dot slash gunthi dash arm. That pretty much executes the file. You're going to want to remember this because uh, every time from now on, every time you want to start out, start up gunbot, that's what you're going to need to enter. So then once you hit enter, it's going to take a second to load. And uh, let's wait one second here. And there you go. It's running. Uh, so obviously I took out my... Uh, API keys, so you guys wouldn't be able to see uh, what API keys I put on here, uh, but you can see that the bot has started trading, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it uh, because I don't want it trading right now. Uh, but anyways, how you stop it is you hit Control C, Control C uh, stops whatever file is running. Uh, so you know if there's something wrong or you want to change. I don't know, if you want to stop the bot for some reason, you can just go ahead and hit control C and you don't have to do chmod anymore. Uh, you don't have to close the uh, console window. Uh, all you need to do is dot slash uh, gunthi dash arm again and then you can hit enter and the bot will start running. 
So uh, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to you know get it started on, ra on a Raspberry Pi because I know I had trouble first finding out how to do it. So hopefully this really helped you guys. Uh, anyways, I'm going to upload one more video today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.